Yeah, that is a, it is a big issue for a lot of companies and firms today. And I think, you know, you need to really sell people on your culture. So you need to make sure that you're listening um, to your employees. And not only do you have core values, but you're, you know, using the core values and you're living the core values um, that it's coming from the top down and that people feel heard. And um, I think you need to start offering some flexibility, like the working remotely um, and at least some part of the week um, to be able to be competitive because you are now competing, like we said, with people throughout the country. And um, you need to be able to make sure that if you're going to get the right people in the right seats, like you, that you are, you know, putting your best foot forward. And so I think that starts, you know, at the very top and, you know, goes all the way through the, the organization to make sure that um, you're trying to, you know, have a, a nice culture where people feel empowered and feel heard and feel, you know, worthwhile. Um, and then that's the way that you can keep people and then also attract others um, when they hear about, you know, from your employees or during the interview process, you know, when you're conveying that to them so that you are being competitive because it's, you know, it's a really competitive workforce out there now. And Sharon's got, I'll jump in here and just say, Sharon's got a whole bunch of tools and ideas she uses to do what she's talking about. Anything from her party planning committee she put in place and we did <laughs> a bunch of virtual retreats. Um, and, you know, now we're looking forward to doing some more of those in person to um, the way she runs all of our different types of meetings, one-on-one -on -one meetings, company meetings, marketing meetings, and they're, they're, that's a very in a, interactive type style of meeting. It's called an L10 in the EOS world, level 10 meeting. Um, and all of that, it, in all of those ways, um, checking in with employees through regular, making sure they're comfortable in their position, all of these things, help us stay in touch with our staff, I think. I hope that's the idea. I think there's another piece to it, Victor, as well, that's a lot more difficult to manage. I'm guessing that many CAS firms feel they have a good culture, a strong culture. Um, the thing that's more difficult to manage is your client's culture. And as we all know, because we're all in the professional services business, um, not all clients share our culture, not all clients share our values. And to me, there's nothing more demoralizing than a toxic client. And managing that toxic client isn't always easy because there are potential relationships that client has throughout your firm or with individuals or maybe the revenue constraints that your firm is concerned about. And that's where culture really gets difficult and you really have to make tough decisions in, in my mind because you know, how far are you going to let a client influence your culture and what is it that you can do in order to mitigate um, those influences?